Hey y'all, I'm Shayna and I'm back with another review. This is for Tyler Perry's Sisters Season 5 Episode 12. I don't know how we're on Episode 12 when the last time we were on Episode 10, but whatever. The episode is called Backlash and we're going to go ahead and get right into it because the storylines are just getting all over the place. So if you've been here before or if you're new here and you enjoy the video, definitely help me to grow my channel by subscribing and help me push my video through this YouTube algorithm by liking the video. So we pick up where we left off with Calvin whooping on Q with that golf club. Like, <laughs> whooping on Q. So Calvin tells Sabrina, like, go get your phone, record Q confessing to everything he did. But he's like, Q ain't going to confess. It don't matter how many times you hit him with that golf club. And Sabrina's like, Q, just leave, get out. And he's like, why are you letting him leave? <laughs> but holding him there wouldn't do any good. So Calvin is upset that Sabrina let him leave. But she explains, like, look, he was under distress, like, because you were hitting him. And more importantly, he wasn't going to confess anyway like if he took it this far he's not about to confess to anything and take the fall he ain't gonna do it so Cal was just frustrated but he's like you know what I should have made sure you were okay and they kind of hug it out and it's just an unfortunate situation so over there on Karen's side she's still in the doctor's office and Andy and Andy and Danny are like look whose baby is it like stop leading us on like who is it finally she said look it's Zach's baby. Like, I knew it was Zach's baby. I still think they need a blood test. Like, y'all need to get a DNA test because that is not 100%. It's not foolproof, and we can't just go off of that alone. So back over there with Calvin and Sabrina. They're on the couch talking, and they're both worried about Maurice, and so am I. We, I, I haven't seen enough of my fave, Maurice. So Sabrina says she's going to ask Andy to help, but I mean, Andy running out of favors. She's going to ask Robin about 50, 11 times to help her. It's crazy. Um, Calvin said that, you know, he's waiting on Maurice to call. Maurice hasn't called. Maurice did try to call. You weren't answering the calls. Tyler Perry be forgetting what he be writing, but it's okay. So Zach visits Fatima at her office, and this is apparently his first time in her office. So that's news to me because I could sworn he was in there before but okay um he tells her she was right he talks to the lawyer and she's right about all his baby mama drama and all the issues and the money he may owe and etc um but the lawyer confirmed she is correct so he wants to let her know he's like i'm gonna go try to talk to them and work things out with them and she's like we can talk to them together and they can come to our house how about that and I'm with her. Like, she don't let a whole lot slide. Like, I wouldn't even be with Zach. I don't care if he hit the lottery or whatever or not. <laughs> so, just then, while they're in the middle of talking and wrapping up the conversation, Hayden pops up. And he serves Zach with papers. I wish Zach would have read the papers right then and there. But he's like, he don't even want to take it. Because Seema convinces him to take the papers and take it to his lawyer. So, he, that's what he's going to do. And then Andy pops in as Zach is leaving and asks if Robin is there. So she makes her way to Robin's office and she's like, you know, giving him a flirtatious smile and, you know, without saying it, basically thanking him for helping her with uh, Sabrina. Robin confides in her about his troubles with the firm and said that he owes like 14 million in a share and he had to give her a million to help her with her friend. She ain't going to get no help with Maurice. I'm sorry. <laughs> so he knows Gary and Hayden are behind it and they're trying to force him out. And Andy's doing a terrible job in lying, pretending like she didn't know. And why on earth did Tyler decide to make her a lawyer? Because <laughs> she has no poker face. But she said, I can refer you to one of my previous clients that I represented in a divorce. He can give you a loan. It might have a lot of interest. When she said she could help him. I initially thought she was on the call madam. But she said, no, she knows somebody. She can refer them if you want the number. It sounded a little sketchy, and I don't even know if it's legal, but she has somebody. But they were looking, and I'm like, there's clearly still some feelings between them that she wants to help him. But she need to get rid of Gary's sneaky self. I don't know if Robin is much better, but at least he's actually helping her, which Gary hasn't helped her with a thing. <clears throat> so Karen is back at the shop, and she tells Pam, like, the doctor says she can work, so she's going to work today. And Pam was like, oh, that was fast. Girl, no, it wasn't. Maybe in Tyler Perry land, but not in, not in the real world. I mean, it's dragged on for two seasons. Like, she's not even showing. She's still two days pregnant. 
So Fatima calls in a favor, and I was assuming in this moment it was with her cousin. And uh, she wants to set up Hayden with a baddie. She wants her to pretend she has a case to, you know, I don't know what, she's, what scheme and plot she's trying to do, but she's trying to get him up off of Zach. And she should have did this a long time ago. So back at the shop, we see Karen. She's telling Aaron that it's Zach's baby. He's handling it well. Um, and she said she's going to tell her girls tonight. Um, but she said, you know, the doctor said it's not 100%, but she's pretty certain. If it's not 100%, she's not certain. <laughs> I still think it's going to wind up being Aaron's baby. And I think she's going to, when Zach reacts with disappointment and upset, she's going to regret wishing that it was his baby. Uh, so Sabrina comes to the shop and she comes into uh, Karen's office and she's like, how are you feeling? And Sabrina's like, I'm okay. And she's like, how do you really feel? Because Pam was like, oh, I like your natural hair. And Sabrina's like, I want my full locks. And Pam's like, why? Like, I don't get it. What don't you get? They violated her. They made her take her locks out. Like the way, the trauma that she experienced by getting to this point of having her natural fro, she wants to go back to how she looked before, before they took that opportunity away from her. But yet Pam, just long get, not this time Pam. You ain't needed this. Well, I don't even know why she was in there. Anyway, go do something at the front. So she was telling, uh, so she was telling Karen she feels traumatized, violated, and she just wants her full locks back. So that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna give her her full locks back. Um, I don't know. The, I mean, the natural, the fro look. You know, I think it fits. The natural look fits Sabrina. Um, but they could have, you know, sprayed a little, you know, a little water or something on it and spruced it up a little bit. <laughs> so the baddie that uh, Fatima basically hired on. <laughs> through her cousin, comes, she arrives, and, for, and Fatima tries to prep her in the break room in the back. And tries to say, like, you know, don't be so hood, because girl ghetto, she like, I got this. I got... If you going to be on a Tyler Perry production, you have to overact. You can't come in there with no good acting. No, you got to overact. You got to do a little, put 20 on 10. You got to do a little too much. That's what you got to do, or you can't be on the show. But she's like, look, I can switch it up. And I'm like, even though she switched it up and tried to sound like professional and whatever, it didn't convince me. But I just want him to move on from Fatima. Like, I just want him to move the hell on. I think, though, that the ploy, <laughs> the plant that uh, Fatima, in other words, hired, it, she may fall for Hayden. And then it's going to mess up everything because she's really going to try to, like, be with him. So uh, she's like, look, I got this. We see Q. He comes to work and he's lying to Danny because she's like, you look like you got beat up. And he was like, I did. That guy that was trying to get you, he found me in a parking lot. He was beating me with a golf club, but I fought him off for you, girl. And I'm like, I hope Danny does not. Please, like, let Danny find out sooner than later who Q is and what he did. Because um, she's just swearing he fought her on, uh, on her behalf and he's just a liar. He can't tell the truth at all. So we see another scene, and I'm thinking, why do we keep seeing the same street with the same building in between each scene? Like, back in the day when shows had, like, you know, outside scenes, it was outside of the house, outside of the person's job, outside of the building they're in, outside of something that makes sense. Tyler don't even switch up the buildings. It'd be the same building every time. But that's just, you know, a little rant, something I picked up on. So we see Fatima, and she comes into Andy's office, because she, you know, she's worrying about Hayden and that whole situation but she goes into Andy's office and Andy got this like silly look on her face looking suspicious so Fatima's like what's going on why are you looking like that and Andy was like actually why are what, you something you want to tell me I see that tan line on your ring finger so Fatima's like oh, I'm caught like I, she's like sit on down spill it I thought Andy was about to tell her that Karen said it's Zach's baby but First and foremost, anybody who's actually worn a ring, you can't have it on, off, on, off, and think you're going to have a tan line. She doesn't wear it consistently enough to have a tan line. She has to wear it regularly or she's not going to have a tan line. But okay, anything's possible in the world of Tyler Perry. So the crooked lawyer um, comes to Maurice. Ooh, but first, back to Hayden. Hayden sees uh, the ploy, <laughs> the baddie, and she's talking, now she's talking regular, not overacting, not doing too much, just talking normal. She was flirting real heavy though. You know, like all there with um, Real Housewives of Potomac when um, Deborah was saying, 
that Chris was flirting with her heavy. If y'all watch that show, yeah, this is what actual flirting heavy really looks like for real. She's like, oh, my friend told me you're so sexy, but she wouldn't say who the friend is. I would have left that out, girl. I would have been like, oh, I ain't gonna say who the friend is. Like, I'm gonna say that. She's like, oh, you're so sexy and all this stuff and like just coming on real strong. But Hayden's so gullible. He ain't used to getting no play. He's just eating it right up, falling for it. So it's looking like her little thing she set up. Um, courtesy of her cousin, Madam, might just work. And plus the girl said, this is what I do. I do this all the time. Like, I'm a scammer. So, don't worry. I got it. So, the crooked lawyer, it comes back to the jailhouse where Maurice is at and tries to convince Maurice to turn to Sabrina. Maurice is like, no, I ain't gonna do it. it ain't gonna happen. So, the lawyer lies and says, uh, Sabrina gave Maurice up. And that's how she got out. So, the fact that she's out, Maurice is thinking, like, maybe she really did. So he's telling him, like, if you sign this paperwork right now, you can be out here in, in, in like an hour. And he was like, an hour? So it's set up to, you know, it's a little cliffhanger to make us think that he might actually sign it. Next week we see Maurice finally did call Calvin and we want to know, did he give Sabrina up? Like, how long are we going to drag this on? Minutes turn into hours, turn into months, turn into years in Tyler Perry land. So let's speed this up. I need Karen to be showing by the end of the season, if nothing else. But let me know what y'all thinking down in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check out my other content, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.